Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Waisha, and today I am juicing green cabbage along with green apple. Now, this is my first time trying green cabbage, and I'm a little on edge because I'm not sure what to expect when it comes to cabbage juice. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to juice one 16 ounce jar of cabbage juice by itself and the rest of them are going to be a combination of cabbage and green apple juice and the reason being is i wanted to do something a little fun this time around so right now i have one head of cabbage it was a pretty big head um, and i have about 26 green apples now i want to know do you guys think that between the cabbage and the apples that we can get six full jars of 16 ounce juice let me know what you think in the comments below and stick around to the end of the video to see were you right were we able to get these nine jars or was it a bust okay so let's get started so i never juiced cabbage before so i wonder is the juicer going to just take the cabbage by itself and is able to juice it or if it's going to require something like apple or something to kind of you know get the juices out of it if that makes sense um, I know with stuff like spinach and kale, it's best to kind of add fruits and vegetables to it to get that juice out of it. So let's just see. Okay. I am so excited about this, but at the same time, I'm just so hesitant because I'm like, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to feel about this cabbage, if I'm honest. Um, if you guys have tried green cabbage before, let me know in the comments below your first time experience and what you thought of it. a lot of foam. I did not expect that at all. It does seem like it takes a long time to juice, which makes sense. Um, I feel like the process of just breaking it down by itself is just, it's going to take some time. I almost wonder would it make sense to do a full jar. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, that's taking a lot of time just for that small hand and I'm sure to fill this up, I'm going to need a lot more cabbage. What I'm going to do, because I want to try to get as many juices as possible with a good blend of cabbage and apple, I don't want to use all of my cabbage just to fill up one jar and then be left with a little nugget and the rest just apples. So what I'm going to do is try a little swig, and I mean a little, so that it doesn't really take away from the full jar count because we still want to see if we can get nine jars out of this and I don't want to drink too much and kind of take away from the goal right so this is what I'm going to do this is what this looks like empty I'm going to try to just get it this much um, and then let you guys know what I think about it okay see? not bad it's just a little swig so let's see let's see let's see okay the smell of it it's horrible. <laughs> I don't like the smell. Just saying. So let's try tasting it. It's really bitter. I can't say that. It's really bitter. And I'm actually glad, thank God that I stopped halfway because the thought of drinking a full jar of this alone it's probably not it wouldn't be one of my best days so that was that was God stopping that situation immediately I wouldn't I personally I wouldn't drink cabbage juice by itself I feel like it's something that definitely needs a little something whether it is um, whether it's ginger or maybe something sweet like apple I would definitely recommend pairing it with something sweet um, otherwise it's it's giving vegetable <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that but now we know let's go ahead and toss in some apple and uh get the ball rolling let's see if we can <laughs> finish this off and get a full nine jars wow i did not expect that okay i was being lazy today and i didn't want to cut the apples so i'm letting the juicer cut it for me Okay, so while that's juicing, I'm going to talk a little bit about the benefits of cabbage. And cabbage is really good. It's one of my staples because it's cheap. 
and it's pretty easy to make. You can make cabbage steaks, you can make cabbage soup still. There's so much that you can do with it. Um, but some of the benefits include weight loss, gut health. I even seen online many places that it helps with stomach ulcers, which I think is pretty amazing. It helps decrease inflammation in the body, balance hormones, and detoxify the body. All amazing things. Okay, now this looks much better, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna drink it this time because we're gonna try to get to our goal. So, one down. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I am praying that these juices taste good because this is gonna get me through to the tail end of this cleanse. And for those of you that don't know, right now I am doing a 15 day juice cleanse. And usually in these videos, I am juicing three days at a time because the juices usually last within the fridge for 72 hours. And then afterwards I have to make more juice. So throughout this cleanse, every three days, I've been making three days worth of 16 ounce juices. And uh, it's helping me with this cleanse. So right now I am in the last week of the cleanse. Again, I hope these juices taste good because to me, towards the end of the cleanse is when it's the hardest. So it's this battle that I have with myself to keep going and just stick with juices and you know deal with whatever comes up or to break it. Right. So you know it's always easier when you have a drink that you actually enjoy. So I said all that to say. Hopefully this green apple and green cabbage recipe is pretty tasty. Otherwise, this is gonna make this that much harder for me. Um, but I'm a strong person, so we're gonna get through this cleanse. We're gonna do it. Okay, Let's see if we can make it. Let's top this off. Okay, we have ourselves two juices. Now, I know this process can get pretty lengthy, and the truth is, truth is, I'm at the part of the cleanse where I'm trying to preserve as much energy as possible, so usually when I'm talking on the video or socializing, I find that my battery is depleted much faster. So, this video is going to be much shorter. What I'm going to do is fast forward through most of this juicing and once we get towards the end we'll see if we actually made our nine jar quota okay so so far we have seven jars and we're down to the final two we still have seven apples left and a handful of cabbage so do we think we're gonna make it let's find out It's so slow to juice. Juicing cabbage is like watching paint dry. Um, but it seems to yield a lot of juice when compared or when added with another high yielding fruit such as apple. We got our nine jars and some. This is still juicing a little bit. Interesting. Okay, okay. Well, this is exciting. Let me go grab another jar. Look at that. How many of you guys guessed right? Let me know in the comments below. Moment of truth. Oh, oh dear. Yes. So that's pretty good. This is a whole another half jar or another cup, essentially. <sighs> I am not ready for this. So I'm, I'm one of those weirdos that has to smell their food or drinks before they ingest it. I don't know why, but that's something I've been doing since I was a little girl. So yeah, you will see me smelling things often on this, uh, <laughs> on this channel. So just a heads up. All right. It's not bad. I will say that it's not bad. The apple indeed saved it. I will say drinking the cabbage juice alone, I probably wouldn't do it personally, but with all the health benefits, combining it with something like apple or something sweet, I think, you know, it's a good option for sure to reap those benefits. 
All right, so thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share the love. I would truly appreciate it. And if you're interested in seeing more of my journey of my 15-day juice cleanse, check out the other videos on my channel to see more. All right, so I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace and love.